Does anyone know what VU meters are? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. In 1939, Bell Labs, NBC, and CBS together developed a meter to display the volume of an audio signal. Originally, it was called the SVI, Standard Volume Indicator Meter, but later became known as VU, an abbreviation for volume units. It works by averaging the volume over a short period of time, approximately 300 milliseconds. These meters are found on analog tape recorders, mixing consoles, and outboard gear. Because VU meters will show an average volume level, steady state sounds will display the volume fairly accurately. However, audio signals that have intermittent silence, like dialogue or drums, will have a VU reading lower than the actual amount of peak energy in the recording. By contrast, the DBFS, DB Full Scale meters, used to display volume on digital audio equipment, have more in common with the PPM peak power meters that were in use even before VU meters. Peak power meters will show transient spikes that might be missed on VUs. Generally, with Pro Audio gear, 0 VU is plus 4 dBU, and with Semi Pro consumer gear, 0 VU is minus 10 dBU. And that's another big difference between VU and DBFS meters. VU meters are adjustable. Since they build in headroom, they can be adjusted to whatever operating level is being used, whereas DBFS meters are absolute. Zero DBFS is the same on every system everywhere, because there's no additional headroom. VU meters are much less relevant with digital gear than they were with analog equipment, leaving some people thinking that VU actually stands for virtually useless. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.